back, Tube Dwellers. I am the Mad Bag, and things haven't quite gone as I would have expected with Leo, so instead we're going to return to Voss for just a little bit. I'm thinking just one more episode, and then uh, and then we'll get into the differences that, uh, that Leo has found. Uh, he actually wasn't attacked by cultists, interestingly enough. Uh, a couple things went differently with him. I ended up doing a little bit of content that uh, I'd like to show. And I can't show it with him, because I already did it, so... We're gonna show it with Voss. Velas, I mean. Not Voss. Ah, oh, not the insane little nut job. Oh my. Those look like Ash Spawn. Thinking that hit an Ash Spawn. I just started a quest, the March of the Dead. Kill the Ash Spawn attack attacking Captain Veleth. I'm doing just that. They are falling quickly. I guess one of them fell due to paralyzation. Not a killing amount of damage. Actually looks like that may have been the case for two of them. Man, these Ash Spawn are tough. They're using a Dwarven Crossbow. They don't go down quickly. That is for sure. I'm starting to think that I'm going to have to invest in some more Steel Bolts pretty soon. It's alright though. They're not that expensive. Captain! Thanks. What in the hell? I wasn't sure I'd make it off this farm alive. I wish I could have said the same for my man here. This is so close to the to the town. What what were those things? Some of the Redoran Guard have taken to calling them Ash Spawn. They look the Me, same as what I saw I in the temple. Called. All I know is they're a danger to Raven Rock and they need to be stopped. How did that bring you to this farm? I was going to search for clues that might lead me to wherever they're coming from. I know it isn't the best place to start, but we know they've been coming from this direction. This direction? Uh, well, I I kind of helped the, uh, the elder in the temple. I could lend Good. you a hand as well. I can use all the help I can get. Besides, I don't feel comfortable leaving Raven Rock behind, and I'd hate to lose any more Redoran Guard. Very well. Where do I begin? We were searching the farm when the Ash Spawn ambushed us. Have a look around and see if you can turn up anything useful. A look around the farm, you say? What do you know about the Ash Spawn? No one knows, really. Superstitious folks say they're the risen forms of those that died long ago. But I'm not so certain. They started attacking the Bulwark a few weeks ago. My men were able to kill them, but they keep coming back. Oof. How often do they attack? We've had two other assaults on the Bulwark at different spots on the wall. Huh. I know it sounds crazy, but it's almost like they're becoming more organized and probing it for weaknesses. That is troubling. So you suspect there's motivation behind their movement? Exactly. Something has to be directing them against us, and we need to find out who or what it is. Uh, so why do you think the attacks are coming from the farm here? I don't. All I know is that the Ashborn are coming from this direction. So this is as good a place to start as anywhere else. Okay. Good thing the farm's been abandoned for a long time. I'd hate to see what they would do to an unarmed farmer and his family. How long has this farm been abandoned? Not sure. I was Since the eruption? Old Imperial farm I had to guess. Wiped out by the eruption of the yeah. Red Mountain. Not certain who lived there. It was already a pile of rubble when I arrived in Raven Rock. Seems fortunate. Oh, by the way, do you know someone called Mirak? Uh, I might know someone, or maybe not. I can't remember. Huh. Just tell me if you know him. I... I can't. I just can't be sure. I think maybe he had something to do with a temple. A, a, a temple here on the island. Does that help? That confirms what, uh, what I've been hearing from other sources. Report back to me if you discover anything unusual. Anything unusual? I instantly see a dead Redoran guard. If I was a purveyor of the heavy armor, I may be uh, swayed to switch over by the appearance alone. This stuff looks awesome. Whoa! On one of the uh, ash spawns, there's a declaration of war. That's really weird. There's a couple more ash spawn corpses as well. Uh, this guy doesn't use alchemy yet, but I've been storing a lot of alchemical reagents, and uh, I hope that uh, I'll be able to get his alchemy up before long and, and hopefully be able to use that to level him up a, a good couple times. Let's read this note before we turn it into the captain. 
Declaration of War. Raven Rock Stronghold, my calls for the unconditional surrender of your forces and an immediate cessation of all hostilities has been ignored numerous times. I therefore have no choice but to assume your purpose on Solstheim is hostile and to treat Raven Rock Stronghold as an enemy of the Empire. I warn you, any attempt to breach Fort Frostmoth will be met with an equal level of aggression. I will do everything in my power to wipe you and your forces off the face of Tamriel. There will be no further communications between us. General Falks Carius, Garrison Commander, Fort Frostmoth. Wow, that's troubling. Uh, Fort Frostmoth was wiped out by the eruption. By a wall of ash. I think it's uh, just a little bit east of here. Have you found something? I discovered this note on one of the corpses. This is strange. The note says it's from General Falks Carius, but that's impossible. Why is it impossible? Well, Carius was the Imperial Garrison Commander at Fort Frostmouth, but he died over 200 years ago yep. when the Red Mountain leveled the sure place. Sure enough. There's no way he could still be alive. Yeah, right. We know that's the case, right? What do you want me to do? If General Carius is still alive, there must be something keeping him that way. I need you to head out to Fort Frostmouth and check it out. I'm gonna head back to Raven Rock and prepare the men for further assaults. That seems wise. That was titled Careful. a declaration of war. Curious, sounds out of his mind. I see an objective that way, which I think is for the Dragonborn quest. But now I also have March of the Dead. And I have an objective straight north. Oh, I had forgotten to even look at what the map was like in that first episode. Wow. Temple of Mirak. Skull Village, I've heard of that place. Fort Frostmoth. Wow, I really like the looks of this. This looks like a solid chunk of terrain. Um, this little valley right here, if I had to guess, it's about the same size as the... Uh, can I go look at it? No, I don't want to fast travel. Uh, I was going to see if I could just go look at Skyrim. Wow, there's a boat over there, I think. Um, I was going to say that this little area is about the size of the, uh, the lowlands around Whiterun. Um, and there's just a whole other section up here. This looks like it's about the size of, I don't know, maybe the Pale. The area that Dawnstar lords over. Uh, anyway, you slice it, there's a good bit of terrain here. Now, I don't think all the new terrain is here, either. I think there's other locations that'll get to travel to as well. Uh, none as big as this island. This island is the most concentrated bit of new content. But, uh, it's not all of it. There was a ship on the map. Huh. It's an interesting little... Oh, matter of fact, I think I can see the back of the ship. Yeah, that's got to be what that is. Let's go over there and check it out. They made out as though Jaland was uh, the only ship captain who regularly made visits to Solstheim. So I'm thinking another ship. Surely that bodes ill. Surely it houses... Those of ill intent. Um, and you know what? I can't see any markings on the flag. But I kind of feel like I shouldn't take a chance. Um, let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do this. If they're allies, well, uh, I've got a quick save. Oh, yeah! Critical strike on Reaver Outlaw. Reaver, huh? Reaver, uh, surely does not sound... The most friendly. I'll check them all out. They're all gonna run right up to the top of the ship. Oh! <laughs> yes! That was a heart shot! I pierced heart! From more than a hundred yards. Oh, if you just sit still, I will suck it to you. I feel like I can get somebody right at the top of this ramp. Oh yeah! I sure can. It was a plunderer, and it actually didn't kill him. Oh, uh, we got somebody coming out the front, thinking they're wise. That went right over their head. Feeling the wind off the shot. Oh, I think they might yet. Yeah. They are now the wiser. Oh my god! Somebody has got some spells, and I see the shield up even. Yeah, you want to fire your magic at me, don't you? I want to fire my arrow. A Reaver Lord! It looks like we may be in for a fight. As a matter of fact, that hurt really bad. That was just this guy's archer. It's like one of this guy's, you know, four bodyguards. 
So uh, let's beef up a little bit for this fight. He's been throwing fire, so resist fire is great. Regeneration will be nice. Let's go ahead and give myself a true shot for 40% extra bow damage. Uh, sure, we'll take we'll take one heal, and do I have a health? Yeah, solution health, 60 health. Now hold on. I want to see the update real quick. Man, a matter of fact, uh, let's send shock at him. I have quite a few shock. Why don't we do that? That sounds great. Uh, 210 damage right now with that potion on effect. So here we go. I'm going to sidestep every shot you got. Oh, wait a second. Did he just ready a frost? I think he just readied a frost spell. I got a critical shite, uh, strike on him with that shot and paralyzed him. Oh, that actually missed, though. I guess I don't need to slow it down when he's right there not moving. <laughs> Headshot! Wow, check his armor out. Wait a second. That is some sweet looking armor there, my guy. 250 gold, Nordic carved armor. So I've been playing for a little while with the immersive weapons and immersive armors uh, mods. I did just recently get an update for them, but I think that this armor is new as of Dragonborn. Uh, and that, that third era silver sword is, uh, immersive weapons and armor, though. Uh, that's really interesting to see that armor. That, uh, that is quite neat. Barbarian armor! This is from immersive armors as well. Uh, let's, before I forget, switch back over to our regular steel bolts. I was a creature before a man. Before I forget. Oh yeah, they won a Grammy, I think, for that song. Heartstone, huh? Again, not something Vlas is thoroughly interested in, but Leo. He may have to check that out. I may have to make sure he has a uh, a pick before coming out here. Shadow of the Flag flies. More Reavers. I wonder what their purpose here is. I wonder if they're uh, illegally poaching or something. I don't know, I think they'd be like poachers or something. If that were the case, I don't know exactly what uh, what the term Reaver indicates. I believe it has something to do with collection. East Empire Strongbox, expert level lock. Well, my lock picking on this character is not super max, but I'm going to get it without breaking a pick. Sweet! A couple gems, potion, and East Empire Pendant. Huh, I've never seen one of those. It's not real valuable. Uh, I think I'm going to take it anyway, though. We'll, uh, we'll see if I can maybe talk to somebody. Huh. Some skeletons. Maybe the Reavers are slavers. That would be kind of weird being here, though, because, uh, I wouldn't think there's a lot here for a slaver to do. A couple small settlements. I don't know. Maybe they're, uh, enslaving. Lusty Aragonian made folio. Huh. Oh, and I get an objective. Return the folio to Sindiri Arano in Raven Rock. Okay. Well, that sounds easy enough. Stalrin? Helmet of Major Destruction. Ha! Huh. Stalrim, huh? Wow, that's that stuff they said looks like, uh, it's like enchanted ice. It kind of looks like it. Uh, we'll take that. That's fairly, fairly valuable. This character does still have need for loot. Uh, even when I play Leo, I think I'll probably be looting plenty just to show the loot. Even though Leo doesn't really have a purpose for it whatsoever. He's ridiculously rich. He's like as rich as my first archer was. Uh, she wasn't... I think she had just gotten to level 60. And uh, she had almost 300,000 gold, I think. It was something crazy. It was some large, unspendable amount, which is where Leo sits. Although I did cheat to get him there. An ebony helmet! Huh. That's kind of rare. Uh, this character's not real high level. As a matter of fact, uh, in the 30s. Yeah, 37. Higher 30s, I guess. Just about to be 38. Uh, seeing ebony's a little bit rare, but I'm going to pass it up. That heavy armor, don't want it weighing me down. This is uh, a uh, fairly fairly light carry weight maintenance character. Uh, and there we go, we have a reaver ship. Down the hatch. Huh. I feel like uh, there may be some significance to that ship. I suppose we'll find out in time. See a hut? Uh, I see a chest, though. And a burrow. Oh, oh, what in the... Oh my god! Oh my god, they're freaky. What are they? They're ash hoppers? What is going on? Wow. The way these little guys move. I don't actually want to see what your attack animation looks like because it looks like it'd be gross. 
So let's just go ahead and kill you before you get an attack off. That sounds great. Jelly? A leg? And I can eat the leg? There's chitin? Chitin. Huh, I bet that chitin is used in uh, crafting a type of armor again. Interesting stuff for my other character. Some skeletons, a little bit of gold on them. As you might expect, somehow gold is the only thing that stays on a skeleton as he rots. I can kind of understand that, as most of the other stuff that a person may have on them is organic in some way or another, including most clothing. Um, but normally you'd see a lot more than just some gold stay on a person. Belt buckle, something. Ah, uh, that's an ash spawn. Did he see me? Somehow he did not see me. Good that the ash spawn seem really dumb. Maybe they're just uh, not very, uh, very perceptive. That could be. Roldoff's house and ash spawn are coming out of the woodwork. Wow. So 200 years ago, when this volcano in the Red Mountain blew up, did it, uh, did it blow up with some magic and seed some chaotic magic across the land? Just picked up a big ass root. Ah, uh, come on! I know I can get to this ash pile somehow. Show me the yeah. ash! Oh, what? What's going on here? What am I getting hurt by? I don't understand. It's not like these ash fiends have bones. Ha! Huh. There's a hatch that goes down into the house. I think I'm gonna have to explore that right after I finish taking a look at taking a look around. Flynn, what is Flynn? Is that gonna go in like food and drinks? Yeah. Restores 20 stamina. Decrease the target stamina regeneration by 20% for 120 seconds. Ha! Huh. Interesting. I probably should have just dropped that. Another ash pile? One that I can actually search. There is a lot of ash in this house. Just tons of it. It looks like... I actually can't tell. There's... I mean, some of this is snow, right? It's probably actually... What I'm seeing is almost all snow because it's on the top. But there's there's got to be, like, piles of ash all over the place. Listen to this one. My nights have been impossible to bear without you. Huh? I beg Reavers. You, please depart that blasted isle and return to solitude at once. Huh. <laughs> no more. What a fool. Do you think he's the one we left in the tunnel? Who cares? Nords all look the same to me. Nords. Oh, they saw it. Did you hear something? They heard it. Let's go ahead and get our one sneak attack off. Oh, nice. Double paralysis. Let's go ahead and deal with them accordingly. What? Did I shoot his boots off? Did I hit boots off the table? What just happened right there? I don't understand. Oh, it hurts. Oh, man. I did not need to take that bash to the face. But I did it anyway. Not much on these saps. I guess I should have taken some of my bolts back off of him. That'll have to be okay. A gym? A flawless amethyst? Is this a piece of paper, too? Read a letter! Hraldof, light and strength. I feel your words are not your own, and I worry dearly for your health. I beg of you, please depart that blasted isle and return to solitude at once. My nights have been almost impossible to bear without you. To lose you would be the death of me. My love, if you do not return soon, I will come for you. Yornofir. Ha! Huh. That, uh, you know, I read that in kind of a more masculine voice even than my natural voice. And I think that might have been an accurate assumption for me to have made with total ignorance as to who the letter was from. Uh, I think that's from a guy. Uh, let's 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 take that letter. Why not? Uh, that that kind of that kind of seemed a little lovey dovey from from the guy. Uh, do we have like a a reaver leader who's uh who's a little limp wristed? Rodolf's journal. Oh boy, here we go. This will probably figure it out. Uh, this is long enough. I'm just gonna summarize for you. This journal describes a man who ventured here, began hearing a noise from the deep. Describes it as a machine, even. Uh, and then started digging. So hold on, it said something about the bookshelf. Yeah, wow. This is, uh... This is interesting. I wonder what I'm stepping into here. I feel like this is the beginning 
of a potentially lengthy quest. Um, I would kind of like to do any quest I come upon in sequence from initiation through to completion, but uh, that's probably not going to happen as I kind of wander around totally ignorant to the layout of the quests. A bloodstained letter from Hrodolf's corpse. Bjorn, do not come to this place. I have not much self left. The earth will take us both. H. I think it was a love between two men. The journal kind of seemed to paint the same picture. Can't be certain that Bjorn is a uh, male character. May very well not be. May just be some misleading dialogue, but either way, still remains. Wow, he was not kidding. There is actually a machine under his house. Knives and metal ingots. I don't see a button or any kind of activation. Huh. I wonder if there's anything I can do with this machine. The journal described uh, hearing like a reverberating hum. <laughs> Looks like I'm not going to be able to do anything with it. At least not immediately. Are there no other clues? There are not. Hmm. Uh, oh well, probably all for the better. Uh, I'm glad it actually didn't whisk me away into a 45 minute or hour long quest. Um, I'm gonna leave that pickaxe. I I'm gonna have one out here with Leo and I'm gonna check out all the ores I come across with him. I'm just gonna ignore all the ores with Velas. Uh, I know I've already searched all this stuff. I'm just being paranoid. I feel like I've missed something. I feel like that can't be the end of what's down here. But uh, I suppose if it's not, then uh, I'll just have to return at some point and try to discover the rest then. For the time being, let's spend just a second longer looking into the immediate surrounding area. I see a fort. I actually believe I have a quest on that fort. It's quite a ways out though. Kill General Falx Carius. Uh, since I kind of started that one just now, I kind of do want to be pointed about... <gasps> Are those... Are those Silt Striders? Wow, is this like a baby Silt Strider? Oh my god! This looks so amazing! I just wanna... I just wanna throw a saddle up on one of them and ride it! Wow, this is so cool! It's just so cool to see images from like... I don't even know, it's... Uh, ten years ago, I think it's more than ten years ago. From uh... Just like some of the more awe-inspiring parts of the game. Some of the parts of the game that you just like look and just go, wow, that is some cool scenery. It's cool to see it redubbed now and infinitely greater and finer. More lavish detail. Getting close to this little, uh, fort? Is this... I guess, I guess that over there is Frostmouth, right? It's a ways out. So, I don't get what what this is. Is this supposed to be natural stone? Because it really doesn't look like it. And there's a crypt here. Colbjorn Barrow. Huh. I was scared there for a second, but it seems this gentleman is not hostile. Rallus Sedaris. The Journal of Rallus Sedaris. Volume 19. Rallus was hired by someone looking for an Azadal artifact, or relics. Uh, this is a burrow that they expect to find some in, yes, but it's been filled with ash. Relis, what's the mat? Excuse me, what's the matter with you? With me? What's the matter with you? I'm not madly digging Sorry, in a heap I of ash. Sorry, I just had a lot of hawk-faced cowards coming by to mock my efforts. Wow. Uh, it probably can't hurt to tell you. You look mostly honest. I am a wood elf. The name's Rallis. Rallis Sedaris. Out of Morhold. Morhold. I've got a financier waiting for me back on the mainland. Sent me here in the interests of obtaining some rare antiquities. The relics of Arzador. Arzador. But this whole thing became a disaster right quick, let me tell you. What happened? You come out of the northern ashlands, you don't expect things to go easy. But this was something outside my particular expertise. He says as he continues when to dig through ash. When I first got to Colbjorn, you couldn't even see it. 
buried in the ash, like most other things on this blasted island. It is really close. Dug out a pile of the stuff taller than me just to find the barrel. Who knows how much to reach the door. Oof, quite a ways. Find exactly no barrels. my specialty. Even if it was, the ash storms fill it in faster than you can dig. Why not hire some of the miners out of Raven Rock? You think I've got that kind of money? No, I only get paid on delivery. Can't afford to go out of pocket for a thousand septums. On a thousand septums, huh? It takes money to make money, all that rot. There's a lot of it the other end. But I can't get there without a little kick to start it off. Hmm. So what's this treasure you're after? You ever hear of Azadol? He's the can't first say great Nord enchanter, maybe even the first human to master Elven methods. His best work was buried with him, though. A set that my patron calls the Relics. Are supposed to be down in his tomb. Really? Now, they're old, and they're powerful. A combination like that makes them pretty valuable to certain people. And I happen to know certain people. Well, uh, I've got a little bit of money. Are you looking for a partner in this endeavor? What? Are you... Are you serious? Well, I think I make that work. We can sort out the details about an arrangement later. But for now, I'll manage the dig if you can manage the coin. Well, I'm not a rich man. Do you have the gold? But I think I can spare a thousand. Mm. It's all here. Well then, looks like I have a good bit of work to start on. Yeah, you need to go I'll hire some diggers. I'll rock and round up some diggers. Once we've got something worth looking at, I'll send word to Pleasure doing business with you, partner. I'll see you soon. Nice. Well. Oh, nope. He's going to keep digging. <laughs> uh, I imagine uh, once I get out of this area uh, and wait a period of time or continue on about doing other things, he will, uh, he will likely send word to me from a courier if I had to guess. I see what looks like a monument and yet another fort. Hmm. Well, I had thought that I might just do a little roundabout in this area just to see what's out here. Uh, and I am quickly revealing just about all of the discoverable locations in this area. I don't have my horse whistle yet. That sucks. I really wish I had my horse out here. It would make this so much easier. Uh, this character can't even whistle for horses, though. Yet, I have to attempt to whistle. I have to practice whistling to many other folk, random townspeople. Those look like traces of spider webs. Am I right there? Albino spider egg. Damaged albino spider pod. Huh. That is really interesting. And another one. And a third one. We'll take a couple of them. See if we can do something with the samples. Now, where are the albino spiders that laid these? That concerns me a little bit. Because it seems like it could be a nasty enemy. And uh, if it's been removed, then maybe there's a nastier one. I do not know. Getting close to this monument, whatever it may be. And I feel the need to be a little bit quiet in my approach. And I see reavers, so I'm glad that I'm quiet. Matter of fact, I see Reaver Lords, or at least a Lord. If we can get up this little bit of rock here, thinking I'm going to put a uh, True Shot potion on and get a shot off. They think they saw me. Luckily, I ducked into sneak just fast enough. Okay, I've got a pretty good vantage point here and right in front of me here. Uh, where is the True Shot? Filter. 40% bow damage. Oh, he thinks he saw me. The Lord is the one I'd like to get. I'm hoping that's landing. That landed. That landed nicely. I'm going to try it again. While he's staggered, the Lord is down. I think all the rest of these enemies are going to be quite easy to deal with. Matter of fact, down they all go. A three-piece? 
done away with very quickly. Looks like they were setting up a mining operation here, but it looks like there's something else. Steel Wakasashi! Some of those uh, immersive items that uh, Battle Axe also. Uh, actually, I don't know. They added a lot of variations of some glass weapons. I think that might actually be an original one, though. The glass Battle Axe. There are some other axe weapons as well as uh, just various... Like, there's a spear, there's like a quarter staff. Huh. Uh, where did the Lord go? Yeah, there he is. The Reaver Lord. 250 gold. Again, the carved armor. And Stormfang. A named blade that I don't really care to carry. East Empire supply boxes. I'm almost sure you didn't come about those, honestly. Oh, I saw some movement, though, I think. Right up in here. Yeah, there's my movement. And we got it! Of course it is just an adept lock. 60 gold. Meh. Nearly not worth the time. Nearly! And an East Empire strong box. I'm already seeing the movement. Oof! It went too far, I think. I think right up in here. It's gonna be my money zone. Aw, oh, yeah! Straight to it! I have the sense. Another East Empire pendant. Uh, for some reason, I'm gonna keep picking those up right now. I don't know necessarily that it does anything for me or that I can do anything more than... Uh, just get 25 gold out of it, but, uh, I don't know. I have a feeling somebody's gonna ask for those at some point. Some arrows. Steel Warhammer, we're not gonna carry any of that. I did get a level up. So I think we should go, uh, we should go see about that. You know what, it's been a really long time since I got a level up with this character. Let's put a little into stamina. I mentioned recently that I was feeling the effects of having a lighter stamina pool. Uh, my restoration feels okay. I really don't take a lot of damage. My enchanting is probably what I was working on last. Uh, going right up that, and then going right up this middle section. As a matter of fact, it's only at 78. Um, let's just take a peek around. Though I have a one-handed. Uh, three out of five, actually. I bet that was because of my sneak. Um, did I take sneak? Yeah, I took sneak all the way around to this uh, 15 times uh, dagger damage, so... Um, wow, my sneak's only 69 total. Uh, so that I could use blades if I wanted to, which, when my sneak gets higher, I just may. Uh, had I started on alchemy? No, that was speech. Okay. Yeah, so I'm thinking, uh, enchanting is gonna be where this one goes. I probably need to focus on enchanting in the near future. And take this on up to 100 so I can actually deck out all my equipment. That'd be really nice. That is, uh, normally one of the early things I rush to anymore. Having 100 enchanting is... Uh, not too difficult to get, especially if you kind of find yourself in the money pretty early. And, uh, it's so beneficial, so thoroughly beneficial. Well, you know what, I've done some exploring in this area, and, uh, I'm kind of concerned about going further, because I don't want to have, like, the intro of a bunch of different quests all back-to-back, -back, and then not have the completion of any of them. So I think we're gonna focus on March of the Dead for the time being. Yeah, and that's gonna be right over in this direction. Trauma route. Need to remember that. It sounds dangerous. It's not spelled the same. It's pronounced the same. It could be traumatic or traumatizing. I see a fort. There's a tower where there are man made structures. There very well be intelligent humanoids squatting uh, or otherwise in control. They may not be friendly to my advances. So let's take our time. Whoa! We've got some magic battle going down there. The dueling mages! I wonder. I guess I could get a little bit of a zoom in. It's gonna cost me stamina to get it. It's gonna slow everything down. Epic mage fight time! We have ice versus fire! Actually, it looks like they're both burning a little bit. So I wonder. It does kind of look like it's ice versus fire, though. Boom! The huge explosion. He's taking a knee. I think we're going to turn the tables. Oh, I didn't get him. That He did uh, He did become aware of me from that. Let's try a little bit lower. Still no. Uh, he is a little lower in elevation, too, so maybe my shot's arcing down a little bit. He wasn't... Uh, that one wasn't spot on. It actually looks like the other mage is still alive. I don't think that hit still. I think maybe we actually need to go up a little bit more. I don't know how far up I was when I started. I'm not even totally sure that my bolts can go that far. Alright. <laughs> Enough toying around with the silly mages. 
Let's uh, let's continue to be careful around this this tower, though. And you know what? I never went in the tower. How can I? I don't see a way that I can get in it. And I've got company. I hear your footsteps. What are you? Huh. This concerns me a little bit. It's a little bit spooky. All of a sudden, I'm not so familiar with an ash spawn. From where? He just came out of the woodwork. Like friggin' zombies. Some kind of uh, zombie apocalypse happening. Some kind of crazy zombie takeover. Oh, check it out. I can't get in there, but what do you want to bet? I can search this chest through the window. Sweet. We'll do that then. I don't think there's anything else in there. Kind of bugs me that I can't... Okay, I did discover the location. Cool. I guess I just missed it telling me. Uh, let's work our way a little bit closer to this March of the Dead fort over here. Meet up with the general. These guys are serious. Like, I kind of don't want to interfere. It's kind of neat. Seen mage duels before, but normally one of them wins out pretty quick. Wonder if one of these is, uh, neutral and one is hostile. If I should help one or the other. Hmm. I don't know. I keep seeing this guy do an animation like he's almost gonna take a knee, though, so I kinda wanna help him out and kill her. Right in the heart! She says he's an ice mage and he instantly turns to attack. Oh, and he does have the ice. Oh, that was so close, Ice Mage. You're a lucky man. Didn't even need the slow. Again, with the heart pierce. Heart-seeking projectiles. And it seems that they were just two nondescript mages who had a disagreement about which element was stronger. They both thought they were going to prove their worth. Alrighty, I guess. I'm not gonna hold anything against them, but you know what I am gonna do? Make a break before I get too carried away with the shenaniganery that may go down in the fort. So, that's gonna be all for this episode, folks. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more and more and more Dragon Barn! Yes.